Hi there, my name is Kobe Kingsford, long time no see, once again. On Instagram in particular, I have been quite open about the fact that I like to collect animal bones and skulls and parts and dead animals in general for quite a while now, and a surprising amount of people actually have shown interest in that topic and asked me to make a video on it. So I guess today is my first video on that vulture culture sort of part of my life. As you can see, I am home for Christmas. If you don't know, I go to university in Wales, uh, but I am Norwegian, I'm from Norway, born and raised. And when I moved to uni earlier this year, I didn't bring my bones and stuff with me from home. I've started a small little collection over there, but I live in shared accommodation and it's quite difficult for me to be able to rinse bones and stuff like that. Um, I haven't really figured out how to do that yet since people are around all the time. But back home I have my own enclosed little area. Um, my parents sort of just turn a blind eye to everything and I can just, you know, walk around and just do whatever, really. One thing I noticed when I got back home is that a lot of my bones that I was very excited when I found them have either ended up in random places in my room or in a shoebox somewhere. Which really is a shame because it sort of defeats the whole purpose of why I like to do this. So I am planning to make a few different videos of tips and tricks. Um, some of them a bit sillier than others. Um, but some of them, like this one today, is just very genuine and um, genuine tips, I suppose. So in this video, I'm going to make a table decoration for my parents, for our living room. The thing I like about table decorations and that I find quite cool is that you can add a lot of different textures um, and all of that. So my plan is I'm going to make a sort of Christmassy, foresty type scenery. So for that I have, of course, what I'm going to use. I have this one random antler uh, that I found somewhere once. I have some bones of reasonable size, I'd say. I think these are from the leg of deer. I can't tell you if they're from the front or back leg, but I know that they're from a deer. Uh, Christmas decorations, I have some Christmas bulbs. I have um, some different sort of like ribbons and everything. And I am going to see if I can find some other Christmas decorations like little elves or something. And for the base, I am going to use tree branches. I'm going to have to go outside. We have uh, an old pine tree. Is it called a pine tree in English? Like a Christmas tree type thing. Uh, we have one of those in my garden and I'm planning to just chop off some of the bottom branches and use that. Oh, another thing. Um, because it is for my parents, I can't make it too grotesque um so i'm thinking not too many bones and i'm gonna use the cleanest bones that i have because i feel that white bones look a bit less intimidating uh than sort of dirty ones like i have these seal bones just here and um i think that these will look nicer and cleaner on a table i've got some other things um that i'm gonna show you just very quickly here. I've got these deer legs, and just a quick warning here, uh, these have the skin still on. So um, I have these legs that I've sorted uh, and kept them in salt since the summer so that um, they would be dry, so that they'd be done uh, once I got home from university. And they look like this, uh, again, they're from deer. And uh, these were going to be thrown away, but I asked if I could have them, so that's why I have these. I don't really know what to do with them yet. I think it would be cool to use them for a decoration, like on a tabletop, but since this one is for my parents, uh, we're going to let these chill. And yeah, let's get started. So for your decoration to hold together, you need a tray of some kind. This is what I found. Uh, and I'm actually really happy with this one. It's a sort of like weaved wooden tray, it looks like. And then I just added the branches that I cut off a tree outside of our house to sort of have a nice foundation for everything to be on. I wanted it to be 
a sort of forest scene and I feel like I was really able to do that with these. But I added the antlers, as you can see here. It took me a while to really figure out how to get them the way I wanted to. I wanted them to stand up a bit. And here I'm just sort of showing that I wanted to add some candles, but not to use a tea light as everything is flammable. So I thought maybe I could use these long candles. Maybe I could use these sort of bulky candles. And I, I thought it looked quite cool, but I wasn't super happy with it. So I decided that just to be safe, I also wanted to um, have the light inside of something. So I found that little lantern. Then I switched it out with this house that I found and I wanted to see what that looked like, but I decided to go back to the lantern and um, just tried to get that in place. Next, I started adding stuff. I found these pine cones and then I just sort of went mad with everything. So uh, I added these two little elves that I found uh, with big noses and long beards. And then I added some ornaments and everything. Then I lit the candle, because I thought that looked nice. <laughs> now came the time to add the bone. And as you can see, I didn't really like the look of it just sort of randomly lying there. So I added this bow to it. I added this, um, sort of pearly thing that I found until I realized that I didn't actually like how it looked. Yeah, you can see here, I'm just sort of contemplating. Um, but yeah, I removed it eventually. And then I tried adding a few more bones. Again, didn't really like the look of that, them sort of randomly lying there. But I actually decided to add this little rock stone instead because that space still looked empty to me. And I actually think that adding that stone, it looks quite nice. This is then the finished result. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's since moved down to the living room where I'm looking at it currently. Um, and I'm really happy that I was able to take these things that were just lying around in a drawer somewhere and put them somewhere where everyone can see them and appreciate them. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, please let me know if you have any questions or anything like that, or if there are any other videos that you want me to make on this topic. If you have any other like decoration ideas, uh, particularly Christmas themed, that would be brilliant. Stay safe when you drink and do not hurt yourselves. And remember that you were so much more than you could ever realize. Seriously, if you do do anything like this, please feel free to send me pictures on Instagram. It is in the description down below. And yeah, I hope you're all well. Stay safe when you drink and do not hurt yourselves. And remember that you were so much more than you could ever realize. Seriously, until next time, happy holidays.